I'm in studio with Dustin Chafin, Keith Roth, and Brian McKenna. We welcome in Wes Scantlin. And there he is. Hey. hey. What's up, Wes? Great song. Hey, Wes, thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate it. No worries, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, man, so what do you think about this whole Motley Crue thing, man? They're tearing up the contract, bro. Well, woohoo! Wow, contracts are funky, funky, funny, funny business, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did, did you did you feel like this was uh, was inevitable, or did you think that they were gonna they're gonna keep to their word? What are they What are they doing? Fighting over publishing or something? Well, no, they they signed a contract saying uh, we will. It was a cessation of touring contract, so that they could ne they would never tour again after their farewell tour. Because every band says it. This is the farewell tour, and then they came back. So they took it one step farther and signed a contract saying this is it. Well, apparently, it's not it. Yeah, distance makes your heart grow fonder, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and I guess, uh, you know, I think when you play in front of thirty or 40,000 people every night and then you try to do side projects you, and you don't quite get that same kind of rock star reaction. It's like when, when professional athletes retire, right? They, you know, they really miss it. They miss that competitive spirit. They miss being out in front of the crowd. They miss performing. Um, Jordan with the Wizards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah Michael <laughs> Jordan. How many times did he come yeah. back, right? Back. And, uh, hey, we're happy to have you back as well, man. How's the performing going with you now? Everything's great, man. Um, vocals are feeling a lot better. Um, it took a lot of stride out of my system. Uh, with the uh, with the incarceration and all that stuff, but also helped tremendously, tremendously, tremendously. So I'm super, super stoked, and uh, I'm hap happy to be back and healthy and stuff. You know, it's just it took a minute for me to get there. Yeah, man, we're we're happy to see you on stage and uh, on the pages of TMZ. Um, you guys have a great catalog, six full length uh, CDs, including the newest one. Welcome to. Galvania. So you want to tell us a little bit about um, the process of making that album and also what a Galvania is. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you know, it's just it was just a, I don't know, there was a rough couple of moments in there. So I uh, had to clear the uh, slate, you know, change playgrounds, playmates and, uh, you know, get with people that you, uh, you know, I truly loved, you know, my family and stuff and, uh, and uh, I just keep God first place and uh, Galvania, the, uh, yeah, welcome to Galvania. The title of the record for Puddle of Mud is, um, it's just a skin response. It's an energy response in your body. Um, be it you are, you know, madly in love or you're, you know, you fear for your life kind of thing. Like the hair on the back of your neck stands up and you get like bumps, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I love moments like that in my life where I, I can, you know, some energy, uh, some positive energy from uh, from music or different situations in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just so you know, I mean, I, you know, I've listened to the album a bunch of times. It's uh, you know, pretty much for any rock fan, I think it's it's what they would expect from you. A very very focused album. You know, um, definitely puddle of mud fans. I'm sure are very happy. Um, but d d did you funnel a lot of that turmoil into writing and recording this album? Yeah, there was plenty of blood, sweat, and tears, man. And uh, I'm really proud of everybody that was a part of the uh, of the record. And uh, you know, I couldn't be happier about it. And uh, it won't be eight, nine, ten years for the next one to come out. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about my cuckoo clock back here, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm sitting here with two comedians and a radio <laughs> DJ. I got, I got enough cuckoos in here, man. Um, you know, <laughs> now's a really good time for you, bro, because. Uh, you know, from we were talking about it before you came on, man. There really is a great rock revival happen right now between all the reunions and just I think how you know rock is being received critically now. So, you know, from from a musician's point of view, from a guy who's been in the business a long time, are you are you seeing the same thing that we are? You know, just as fans. It's as a fan of all the rock stuff and everything and all music. Um, I'm I'm psyched, man, to just be uh, you know be put up there in the in the in the spot that we're at right now, and uh, you know competing, I guess not competing, but everybody's releasing their stuff, and it's awesome, man. And uh, thank God for uh, for for new music, man. It really helps the soul. Yeah, yeah for sure, man. So was uh oh the first single off this record? 
Uh oh was the first single off of uh the Galvania record. Yeah. Cool. And um are you gonna have another uh, music video following that one up? Yeah, we're gonna be doing uh Going to Hell, we're gonna be doing My Kind of Crazy and Just Tell Me and I think we might, you know what, just basically do a video for every single song on the record. It's just out of fun and just have a good time. Mm. Yeah, that's that seems to be a trend. A lot of a lot of bands are just doing that. You know, Metallica did that with with Hardwired and Hagar, uh, right? what's that? Hagar with his last yeah. record. Hagar did the same thing. Yeah, um, and I, but there are there are legitimately four or five hit songs on the new record. So yeah, you you could definitely have a field day with that. What's the touring schedule looking like with you now? Well, since the holidays, we kind of took a little bit of a breather. Um, we were on tour for probably two years straight, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody needed like a minimal break. So uh, we're uh, just basically soaking up the sun, and I can't put the guitar down as usual. I've just been sitting writing, um, and uh, you know, just I can't stop writing, man. I just love music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's why I asked you about you know funneling that turmoil and everything into the record, man. You know, it's good. It's good to have a, a place to to put all that stuff. You know, in a creative way. Yeah. Any. Yeah. You know what? Um, Hell hath no fury, a woman scorned, but they definitely are great muses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a few muses on this album for sure man um and and i love the title welcome to galvania but it, it probably could have easily been called all eyes are on wes uh considering <laughs> yeah. all the things you've been through uh how has it been for you sort of trying to you know put your troubles behind you and, and remain clean and healthy when sort of everybody's got you know they're looking over your shoulder kind of waiting to see if you're gonna fall back down again with lasers sharks with lasers <laughs> no not yet. Uh, it's all right man it's always checkpoint charlie for me and uh i'm used to it but i'm healthy and uh you know just rebuilding um there was a lot of craziness happening i probably should have never got married anybody that's married i don't dog marriage but for someone like like me uh i you know what i should have just listened to my own rule mm. god bless my ex <laughs> Yeah. All right. So are you uh, now like a lot of when a lot of guys, you know, get sober, they get into the the caffeine, uh, they become caffeine fiends. Or, yeah. It's one of them sitting right here on the set with us. All beers. Thank you. Um, so got the coffee. You got we got any puddle of mud or West Scantlin coffee coming down the pike? No, none of that. <laughs> that hold on, we can do that. Yeah, for sure. There was a there was a band that opened up for us about two years ago and they had coffee. And they sold more coffee than they did, you know, shirts. <laughs> you know, it's an addiction. So obviously, uh, somebody or whatever, everybody's going to want to try a little bit of their coffee. But I had some of it. It was great. And if I can sell coffee, hey, man, screw it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was out on the road with um, with Zach Wilde over the summer. And um, I couldn't decide who was crazier, drunk Zach or caffeinated Zach because <laughs> he literally had six uh, coffee pots going on the tour bus uh, the whole time so uh, yeah we'll look out hopefully we'll uh, see some puddle of mud caffeine coming our way and it's obviously it's got the appropriate name Absolutely mud perfect, yeah. for coffee so I think that would be yeah. a big seller um, but besides all that stuff man you've had a bunch of uh, hit songs over the years huge selling albums from this album on what, what kind of goals are you setting for yourself Wes? Uh, you know, keep God first place, um, you know, say your prayers in the morning, say your prayers at night and, uh, you know, stay low, fly low and, uh, you know, keep it everything cool and calm, you know, and, uh, just, uh, just keep writing music and, uh, recording it. And, you know, if it's a, if it's a turd, it could be polished, but sometimes they're not <laughs> able to polish. So, you know, go on a neck turd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first time the word neck turd has ever been used on this show. Guaranteed. Maybe, maybe ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll, fi we'll figure out who's going to use that on the road. 